Let's take a look at the key difference between computer vision and image processing. Image processing is basically just a soft field under computer vision. Computer vision is covering all of it, but when you think about computer vision, it's more like the new update taking into segmentation models and all that, where image processing is more the traditional computer vision algorithms as different image operations, but also basically just edge detection, corner detection, and all that. But image processing could also just be how do we process our image to start with before we feed it into a computer vision system. So we have a blog post here where we're going to see a few key differences, but also some examples to go out from. We have tons of different blog posts covering pretty much everything that you need to know in computer vision and also videos here on the YouTube channel. So definitely check those out. Computer vision is a large market here. First of all, we see an overview over computer vision versus image processing. So the purpose of computer vision is interpret and understand images. So that could be visual language models, that could be update detection systems with intersegmentation, update detection, where it basically just interprets and do perception, what is act like in the image. The purpose of image processing is more enhanced and also modified images. So it could be modified images, do some normalization, change some formatting and so on before we feed it into a computer vision system. Could also be enhance the image, improve the quality, downscale the image, upscale the images, and so on, where we get into the focus, extract meanings and insights in our images for computer vision. So this is also like building a system around the detection models and extracting what we're actually like doing. So this is basically just perception and we have image processing to manipulate our images on the right side. So the focus is improve quality and features, the techniques here, as we mentioned, objectation, segmentation, and post estimation, where image processing is more the traditional stuff with noise reduction, edge detection, basic segmentation, basically with the tra traditional computer vision algorithms. End goal is to make decisions or do automation with computer vision systems, so it's more, much more like the whole system at a higher level. And then we have the end goal, process images, for analysis or feed that into a computer vision system. So computer vision, they have some differences, but they go hand in hand and they basically complement each other. And usually when you work with computer vision systems, you use both. So how does image processing work? For example, here we can see some examples of edge detections. It's basically just going in and taking a look at pixel intensities. So everything in an image is basically just a pixel with in intensity. Then we can have one channel if it's a grayscale image or we can have three channels, an RGB channel for just a color image. Then we have one value for each channel, pretty much for each pixel we have as well, which is an intensity. So edge detection basically just does image operations directly on the pixels with traditional algorithms, computer vision system and so on. They have some filters that runs across it with neural networks. So using more deep learning based approaches to find all these features and come up with the perception and interpretation of what's going on in the images. So for example, edge detection here, it looks at how much does the pixel intensity act like change when we go through our image. And when we take a look at it, for example, this flower, we see when we go from this area to this area, it acts like has a very large change in the pixel intensity. So that means we might have a line here. So it's act like that's how these algorithms are drawing these lines for edge detection. So we can also explore other different image processing techniques, template matching, if you just have one example, how do we match that and find the similar examples as well. This is also a very common use case or technique used in traditional computer vision. Could be blurring, smoothing, if you want to do some processing with that. Maybe before we feed it into an algorithm, could be we want to enhance it as well. We want to smoothen it out, we do some image averaging, we want to downscale our image morphological operations as well could be that we want to dilate the image so we want to make optics larger could be erosion that makes this optic smaller could for example be we have some white noise or up here in our edge detection we have a few dots here and there we might want to get rid of those if we then go in and use erosion it's actually like going in and doing it we can also combine this so we both do dilation and then erosion after or erosion first and then dilation after and that's basically opening and also closing. So here we can remove small noise. So that could be these examples here, but we can also fill in small gaps. So for example, if we have a mask or we have a full mask and we have a few holes inside of it, we can use our closing to fill in smaller gaps. 
that will basically just be make the large objects larger and then we remove smaller parts with the other one here we remove smaller parts first and then we make our objects larger to remove the small noise so this is basically just what you can use out the box with OpenCV. you are probably play around with it but this is also very important to know sometimes we can solve these computer vision projects with just traditional classical computer vision algorithms and most often we actually just use them to pre-process images that we feed into our update detection system so how does computer vision work here it's basically just update detection image classification instant segmentation post estimation all these different tasks that you can use out of the box with autolytics it's just a few lines of code we have videos covering all of it so you can go through those videos set up a whole pipeline for each of these ones here we have use cases and everything it's just a few lines of code here we see some applications of computer vision and image processing so this could be livestock monitoring with autolytics so here we have cows walking standing sitting um walking around and so on so this is perception this is a computer vision system if you go down here livestock with image processing we do is detection we apply some filters and so on top of it could be background removal this is actually like just removing background of things that is moving then we can go in and do our S detection and draw these uh, contours around us so it could be contour detection as well then it, it's basically just creating a, a mask in the exact same way as our instant segmentation instant segmentation is just way more robust traditional computer vision algorithms and so on if we use computer vision systems with object detection instant segmentation and so on they are way more robust. They can learn from data, learn patterns in the data and so on. So they can, they're way better at actually detecting patterns and generalize better to new examples and new environments where traditional computer vision methods, they're a bit more hard coded. So they work book together, they go hand in hand. We need to use it here and there, but we could also use it to set up a pipeline where for example, we have these um, boot, boot marks, so we have S detection running on that we can do data labeling for example we could do contour, contour detection we get a contour or basically just an area around an object we can fit a bounding box over that and then we get our bounding box we can feed that into a yolo model so then we create our data set in that way some also notation there's also like better on also notation ways out there now with the same two model which we should port with also this as well but this is basically just to understand what's possible with the classical computer vision and image processing methods then we have our data set, we feed it into our YOLO model, and then we can get the outputs from that, which will be way more robust because we have a model that actually like learns from the data instead of us setting up some custom algorithms or algorithms which are more hard coded and not generalized as good as the object detection and computer vision systems. So this is very important to understand that there's a key differences. Sometimes it's good to use traditional methods. Often it's also very good to basically just go with the uh, computer vision detections or computer vision systems but they go hand in hand we can't exclude one of them because even one feed into the your models there's a lot of image processing going on we can do data augmentation rotate images change lighting conditions and all that all that is basically just image processing so we use image processing then we feed that into computer vision systems build applications and systems around our models this is pretty much the best way to create computer vision systems out there Hope you learned a ton. Definitely go through and make sure that you know all these algorithms. You can use most of them out of the box with Autolytics for computer vision system and the image processing with OpenCV. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.